How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here, bringing you guys a one hour live stream preview of Minecraft, the Nintendo Switch Edition. Now, you guys have probably heard of the wonderful game called Minecraft, right? Well, if you haven't, get out from under the rock that you've been under and join up because this game is pretty fun. Uh, I've had my experiences with Minecraft all throughout the last year or so. I'm not uh, absolutely original <laughs> to Minecraft at all. I'm relatively new to it. But uh, today we're going to give you guys a preview of the Nintendo Switch Edition. Now, what's great about this is that not only can you play the Super Mario mashup, which absolutely we're going to be doing, but you can take this on the go and building your towns, taking care of whatever you want in the game while you're able to move, the portability of it is outstanding. So I'm super excited for that. Shout outs again to uh, Nintendo of America for providing a copy of the game. Um, and let's get into it. So let's see what's up. If you guys want more Minecraft and want to see me play some Minecraft, uh, definitely know by hitting the, <laughs> smashing that like button. And in the, there, in the description, there's a link to my Pixelmon playlist, which I had a very fun time. So let's take a look. In Minecraft Nintendo Switch Edition, it says live streamed in the corner. That's crazy. It, how does it know? It's weird. Um, you can do battle mode, which is pretty cool. It's a relatively newer functionality, I'm sure. Uh, you can do an online game. You can do a public game. You could do allow friends and whatnot. So it, it's in, integral. It's integrated the, uh, the friends list that you have on your Nintendo Switch. So that's kind of fun. You can also play Tumble. Never played Tumble before, but uh, any of you guys fans of that? Show of hands, every guys uh, play f uh, Tumble. That's pretty interesting. You can join, you can also take a look to see if your friends have it on there too. Uh, you can also take a look at your various achievements, uh, help and options, you could change the skin of your character. Now of course, since this is loaded up with the Super Mario mashup pack, you have a boatload of Mario characters. All right, so in the comments right now, I want you guys to tell me which one of your characters over here are your favorites. You got Daisy, Wario, Waluigi, Petey Piranha, and you got all the Koopalings. There's Morton. <laughs> Morton looks different than the other Koopalings. Why is that? That's a little interesting. Anyway, uh, any guys uh, have a suggestion on what character we should play as? I think we should play as a Mario, maybe like Dr. Mario. But Kame, Koopa Troopa, Shy Guy, all these characters you can use in the game. So that's really fun. Uh, Boomerang Mario, Propeller Mario. There's like a hundred different kinds of Mario. So uh, we're definitely going to be uh, that. But... There's also <laughs> Battle and Beasts skin pack. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can be chicken in a suit. That's great. Chicken in a suit, zebra, panther, warthog, all these other weird looking animals. You can also do Battles and Beasts where you can be a baby ghast. Oh, watch out. Rabbit, tiger, a whole bunch of stuff. You've got uh, some Biome Settlers pack. That's pretty cool there. Uh, you've got Chinese Mythology pack. That's also very interesting. And of course, you got the Festive pack where you can be Santa Claus. For those of you guys that celebrate Christmas, and Red Elf, and Green Elf. You could be Luigi Elf and Mario Elf right over here. Great. And you could be uh, the Snow Golem. Okay, that's interesting. And little Minecraft Steve. Oh, Fat Santa. Oh, okay, that's Fat Santa. I'm sorry, forgive me. You could be a... Uh, <laughs> Wait, never mind. Hold on. This is Santa, and this is Fat Santa. Okay. And you have uh, Hero Brine and some elves. And I don't think Link's going to be in here. He's a Hylian, by the way. But I don't think he can pass off any of these guys as elves. This is a monkey. That's Bigfoot. Okay, you could also do Greek mythology, vampire. There's a whole bunch of skins you could do here. But we're going to be Mario. Uh, you can just be regular Mario. Okay. Um, other things that you can do is you can just go to play game. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So let's do this. Uh, you can create a brand new world which is something that some of you guys may want to do. Some of you guys are builders, some of you guys are players. I personally, when it comes to Minecraft, I like playing in the worlds. I don't really like building all that much. Uh, same thing with like Super Mario Maker. Uh, so I like, I like kind of exploring a bit. You can play the tutorial if you are brand new to Minecraft and you're wondering what the hype is or what's the buzz about, about Minecraft, definitely suggest going through the tutorial because I've only scratched the surface of knowing anything about Minecraft. Uh, you can also go to the Festive World, Chinese Mythology World, Greek Mythology World, and Super Mario World, of course, which we're going to be doing today, and a Halloween World. We might do all of these, so let's see. Let's do this. Um, if you have someone on your friends roster that is currently in a world and have it as like friends only, you can jump into their world and hang out. So that's cool. But let's go, without further ado, let's jump into the Mario World. 
There's a couple different modes that you can play on. Now, if you're brand new to the game, I highly suggest going on creative mode. It allows you to fly around, there's no need to eat any food, there's no RPG elements. It's just the game and you and exploration. And also in creative mode, you can spawn any, any kind of block, any kind of item, you can do anything. And that's why it's called creative mode. Uh, adventure mode and then survival mode, you can give that a shot. And then you'll also you can change the difficulty, easy, normal, or hard. Uh, texture packs were already on this one. There's also more options that you can do. Allow friends of friends. That's pretty cool. Player versus player. So having like uh, having the ability to take them or attack them. There's some also world options that you can mess around with. Uh, if you press the R button, reset Nether, reset the end, disable auto trust players, fire spreads, TNT explodes. So little stuff, little stuff. But anyway, uh, we're exactly going to go into creative mode because I want to show you everything that this has to offer. Let's go. Let's go, Minecraft. Haven't played since Pixelmon, so uh, I may be a little rusty. But when I was playing a little bit off screen, I did notice that this entire world is the Mario world from the Wii U version, but there's more things added. I don't know if they did an update to the Wii U version, but here we go. So ladies and gentlemen, we are absolutely here, starting in the very first spot. It's a me, Mario. Woohoo, woohoo. Oh man, and I just broke something. Okay, it is creative mode, so everything that you touch will indeed break. So keep that in mind, and you'll be fine. So this is it, the Super Mario World. Now, trust me, I could spend hours. I could spend hours upon hours hanging out inside this wonderful world. And I just might, I just might. But we only have an hour for you guys, so I really wanna just focus on what there is today. So taking a look around, uh, you can use the uh, the joypad, or the, sorry, the, uh, the control stick to move around the camera. Of course, you can press it in, the left one in, and you can change the camera view. So you can go behind third person, or of course in front third person. Uh, you can crouch by clicking in the other one. Of course, that's kind of like a way of like bowing down or greeting someone. <laughs> At least I've learned from the Minecraft world in uh, in Pixelmon. You just kind of crouch down and say hi. Right, right, that's what people do. They go like this, hey, what's up? Or they just do like a couple quick punches. Hey, <laughs> that's weird. Minecraft is fun. All right, of course you can press the A button to jump. Uh, now, what you really want to get into if you're playing on creative mode is pressing Y. Pressing Y is, allows you to open up the entire menu and spawn any kind of brick. So whatever you want to, you, whatever you want to build, uh, quartz, oak planks, acacia wood. Uh, you can go trap doors. All you know, everything that you could possibly think of is over here. So you can throw a head. So you can put a head somewhere. Oh my gosh, it's Minecraft Steve's head. Mob heads can be placed as decoration or worn as a mask in the helmet slot. Oh, that's interesting. So you can be like Minecraft Steve with like a Mario here. Like you can put that on your head. You really can. Wow, that's uh, not creepy at all. Okay, get this thing off my head. <laughs> but see, these are like the little Minecraft things that you can totally do inside the Switch version, which is pretty sweet. So I'm holding on to Minecraft Steve's head. <laughs> get it off. We don't need that. But anyway, we're looking around. Uh, there's some other things that you can look at, uh, such as, uh, yeah, an Elytra. Elytra's awesome, right? Let's uh, let's equip the Elytra. And what the Elytra is, I, being the Minecraft noob that I was at the time, I'm like, oh, that's a pretty cool cape. Everyone and their moms got on me about that. They're like, dude, Abdallah, it's not a cape. It's a pair of wings, dude. Get it right. I'm like, okay, big deal. All right, so with the Elytra, um, in case you guys did not know, with creative mode, you can fly anywhere. Uh, if you double tap the jump button, you can turn on your uh, your flying, and you double tap it again to pretty much uh, <laughs> get rid of it. And with the Elytra, if you double tap in mid-air without creative mode, you can actually spread your wings and float a little bit. You can glide, which is super fun. So we are going to do a triple jump, and we're going to start exploring this place because I am pumped up. All right, you guys ready? All right, we're going to do a triple jump. <laughs> All right, watch. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, that's that was pretty good, right? That's Cape Mario. That's what we're doing right now. We're we're totally doing wing cap. <laughs> anyway, so let's go flying around. Uh, with this, with creative mode, you can go anywhere. You don't have to worry about taking your sweet time. You just fly around and uh, just do a triple jump and fly like you're in Super Mario 64. And just looking at everything, you can actually go in the Ender too. That's uh, that's pretty cool. That's like the End World, right? Uh, the Nether. Sorry, the the Nether. 
<laughs> Look at me, confusing my Minecraft terms. All right, so yeah, this is great. This is great because every single one of these blocks, every single one of these blocks, a developer had to literally plan. So a developer and a team had to come over here and really, really go through every single one of these. And there's a couple different biomes too. So let's look around. So of course that's the edge of the world there. You got some nice pixel art, which is looking so cool. Look at this gigantic piranha plant. It just looks so much fun. And then look at this 2D castle from what? Super Mario 3? And question mark blocks. And here's a toad house. Yeah, we can land in front of the toad house. All right, Toad, I'm coming in. Give me a life, please. Uh, anybody home? Hmm. Oh, interesting. So the Toad House indeed has a secret area. I think we go inside it, right? Woohoo! Boom! Okay, so now inside the Toad House is a, I don't know, like a an area, like a secret area with like a mine cart. Here's a little chest. Anything in there? Oh, oh, oh! You can actually take a minecart out of the chest? Are you kidding me right now? And you can put a minecart right over here and we can go inside it? Wait, wait! Wait, no, I put two of them there. Eh, okay, okay, we're in, we're in. You ready? Press A to learn more about minecraft, minecarts. I think I know a little bit about minecarts. Let's go! Yes! All right, so we are totally in a minecart right now. Yeah! Pushing another minecart, <laughs> looking directly into your soul. That's the Mario death stare. This is cool. I did not know that there was a secret minecart path directly underneath there. That was fun. Do we go again? This cannot be broken. All right, thanks, dude. I'm out. Can I leave? Can I leave? Get me out of here! <laughs> Get off of this first. Exit. Right stick in. Okay. Get me out of here! Wait, did I just go back to the beginning? That looks familiar. All right, we're going in. We're gonna ride, baby. Let's ride again. Can I, can I ride, please? ZL to ride, here we go. Let's go! When powered, accelerates. Okay, yes, yes, are we going? Ah, oh, forget this. I'm done with minecarts. <laughs> okay. So we are gonna like Neo our way all the way up over here. Boom! And if you wanted to, wait, I just fell. Dang it. <laughs> Neo! Like the Matrix, blasting off at the speed of light, surrender now or prepare to fight. Meow. That's right. Okay, so here we go. That was pretty cool. So we got on a little minecart ride. Uh, do we want to spawn some enemies? All right, let's do this. Uh, we're gonna spawn some enemies. Let's do spawn. You can head over here and you can uh, hold onto a saddle, which is kind of cool. You can do some TNT, blow up some stuff. A uh, redstone repeater, okay, not really, don't really care about that. You can actually put a boat. You can make boats. Of course, you can do uh, gold ingots. That's awesome. Diamonds actually look like they have like eyes like they're from Mario. Uh, we can put like a nether wart. That looks interesting. And look, fish. Like you can eat a cheap cheap. Like Mario is just like hanging out over here and you can just eat it. Like, right? You eat it? Or you just attack with it? <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Uh, what's this do? A nether wart. I'm just going to throw it. I don't need that. All right, so nether wart rail. How did I take a rail? Get that out of here. Get out of my inventory. All right, raw salmon is uh, the cheap cheap. So let's spawn some dudes. Uh, we're going to spawn. Any guys want to spawn anything in particular? I'll totally put something out in the world for you. Uh, it is under, I think here, enchanting. No, here we go, got it. So here are the things. You can do eye of enders, ender pearls. Uh, we can do, I wish I knew how to like spawn like ender dragons and stuff like that. I'm not that advanced at um, at Minecraft to know all that. Like don't you have to put like like five candles in a row and you make a little portal and you like go inside it and you go get something? I don't know, but we can do a bat, we can do a magma cube, we can spawn some other stuff. So let's go over here. All right, let's go over here and let's spawn some things, right? Uh, this. This. Not this. What button? This. This button. What button is it on Nintendo Switch? Oh, I just put everything away. A creeper. You guys want me to get a creeper out here? Okay, okay, we can do a creeper. Creeper's cool. We'll do creeper. Uh, skeleton. I just wanted everything. Man. I didn't want to, like, get rid of my inventory. 
Okay, so now we're gonna do, I'm gonna hold on to this, right? It's in my inventory. Ducking doesn't do anything. Just use it, dude. What's the problem? Y doesn't do it. B, there we go. No, B throws it. Mm, X? Oh, maybe I have to have it in my hand. Yo, what's the deal? Hold on a second. What, is, <laughs> what am I missing here? Okay, I have this thing. Now use it, Mario. I spawned these guys earlier. X's inventory. Wow, wow. Forget it. You know, I don't think I can... Oh, here we go. Place. He was just not on a space. That's why. He was, on a, he was not on a space where I could put him. <laughs> Alright, so this is a zombie. Okay, got it. So you can, you have to be like looking at a specific spot to place. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. So we did a zombie. That was kind of fun. Okay, so I'm gonna place one right here. It's like a fight. Whoa, okay, easy there, killer. Easy. I know I've got invincibility on, but still. All right, so what else are we gonna do? We're gonna spawn a slime. This is a slime. What is a slime? Oh, this is a thwomp. Oh, that's like a baby thwomp. That's kind of cool. So we just spawned a baby thwomp, looking cool. I like that, we don't need the other slime thing. All right, here we go. All right, what else are we doing? Endermite, what in the world is an endermite? This little guy looks like a little baby buzzy beetle. That's kind of cute. And this thwomp is really going for me. So let's, let's just fly the heck out of here. And let's go find somewhere else. It is getting a little dark because the, uh, the, the light, the night and day cycles of the game are pretty cool. Oh my gosh. Flying with the Elytra, here we go. So, we saw the Endermite. What's an Ocelot? Oh, I know what an Ocelot is. Here we go. Uh, you. Oh my, what? That thing's gone. You just spawn these little cats everywhere. Found in jungles can be tamed by using raw fish. Yeah, this thing is gone as soon as I spawn it. They are out. And spawning a mushroom. This is a mushroom. Mix mushroom stew when used in a bowl. Drops mushrooms. That's clearly a cow. What are you talking about? That's a mushroom. What? Weird, we just spawned a mushroom cow. That's a weird thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, spawn the wolves. That is not a wolf. That's Poochie! Oh, that's so cute! I did not know that Poochie's in this game. That's so funny. He's under the wolf. Wow, Poochie. Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World. And here's Poochie Babies. That's so funny. That is really, really hilarious. Okay, you know what? We have to explore this. We have to explore this right now. I'm having fun with this. A little too much fun. You think I'm having fun with this or what? Here, get all this junk off my thing. Okay, so we saw a creeper. We saw, oh, we didn't see a skeleton. We didn't see a spider. We saw a zombie. We saw a slime. A ghast, zombie pigman, enderman, cave spider, silverfish, blaze, magma cube. Okay, well, one by one. We're gonna spawn you a skeleton, which is a dry bones with an arrow, a bone arrow. Oh, get him, wolves! Get him! Get him, Poochie! Oh, that is so cute. And look, the Poochie even have their tails. That's so cute. Oh, man. Okay. So, uh, we're gonna spawn a spider. Oh, this looks like. I don't recognize this spider from anywhere. Is this from like Mario 64 spider? I don't know. Get him out of here, you dumb spider. All right, here goes a ghast. Oh, man. Tell me this is a boo. Tell me that's a boo. Boo, turn around. Wait, oh, 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 oh. Turn around, dude, I wanna look at your face. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's clearly a boo just walking around. I love the texture. Spawn zombie pigman. Okay, zombie pigman. What are you? Oh, you're the little dinosaurs from uh, Super Mario World. That's kind of cool. Zombie pigman, all right, spawned enderman. Oh, man. Yeah, the shy guy on stilts. That is so scary. The Enderman. Aren't you like not supposed to like look into his eyes? Isn't that like the lore of Minecraft? Let me know in the comments if you guys know anything about Enderman. It's like a shy guy in stilts. That's so cool. All right, uh, Cave Spider. Um, cave Spider has a venomous bite. What else we got? Silverfish. Oh, that's a little wiggler. Oh, look at how cute. Look at how cute that wiggler is. Yeah. Yeah, oh gosh, he's digging his way down. Sorry, Wiggler. All right, that's that's pretty cool. Blaze, what is Blaze? All right, Blaze, spawn you. Oh, wait, what is that? Ghastly? Hold on, what? Some sort of tornado, dude? No clue, kind of looks like Ghastly. Little bit of Pixelmon coming out in the Mario Mashup pack. 
Spawn a magma cube. Okay, this is just a lava bubble. Oh, that's so cool. And look, wherever he jumps, little spring, it kind of leaves a little fire trail. That's cool. Oh, man, that is really cool. All right, what else are we looking at? Uh, we have a couple more. We do have a couple more. Okay, so what didn't we see? We saw cave spider, silverfish, blaze, magma cube, bat. We haven't seen bat. So let's go bat, spawn witch, endermite we've seen. Uh, that's okay. Let's see, guardian, shulker. Like, I'm really feeling it, shulker? What are we doing here? Spawn pig, sheep, cow, and chicken. All right, get out of here, dudes. I think we need a new area. Let's fly the heck out of here. All right, let's go into third person and just fly, because this is way better. Oh, yeah. Let's go. New area right here. Perfect, on the coin. All right, here we go. We're going to spawn a bat, because it looks awesome, and a lot of you guys are enjoying this. So here we go. Oh, nice, keys. Whoa, and look at this. Look at the zombie just kind of hanging out. All right. Spawn a witch. It's Kamek. All right, I don't know if Kamek actually shoots those little triangle, circle, square stuff, but that's pretty... Oh, and wow, got a little potion there, huh? Our Endermite we've seen. A Guardian, what is this? Oh, an Urchin. A Guardian, a hostile creature found near underwater temples. Watch out for its lasers. Okay. A little, uh, little Urchin thing. That's kind of fun. All right, what else we got? We're going to spawn a Shulker. Shulker? This is a shulker, a hostile mob found in end cities. They hide in their shells and blend in with purper blocks around them. What is this? No idea. Spawn pig. Oh, <laughs> wait a second. What is that? That's not Poochie, that's just a stupid pig. Come on. Sheep. Oh, it's a Koopa Troopa, cool. That's cool. And then you got a cow, which is going to be a cow. Was there a famous Mario cow in any games? That's probably the cow from, like, Moo Moo Farm, right? The one that you run into on the racetrack. And there's a Goomba! Oh, that's so cute! Look at this cute baby! Look at this cute baby! Oh my gosh, let's just populate a whole bunch of Goombas. I would love, trust me, I would love to make a, a fence. I would love to, like, fence in a bunch of Goombas. I think I can, too. Like, do I have fence items? Yeah, here we go. Nether brick fence. All right, let's do this. Um, all right, so we're totally building a Goomba Coop right here, because why not? Get in there, you Koopas and your Goombas. I don't know what this thing is, but it needs to go. Just <laughs> break it. Get out of here. I'm just trying to raise my Goombas in peace. Oh, no, one of them left. Get in there. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so now I'm kind of feeling like the cuckoo lady in uh, Zelda where I've lost all my cuckoos. Come here. Get in there. Get in there. I just want friends. Get in there. That's right. Oh! Anyway, okay, I'm done with that. <laughs> that was kind of funny, though. All right, let's fly. All right, are we going to go fly over to Luigi? Dude, it's too dark. Turn on the lights. What's the deal? I think you go to start and like do daytime, nighttime off. But we're gonna go over here by the red shell. Right? Can you do that? Help in options. Uh, I think it's settings. Uh, graphics, render clouds, game options, sensitivity, user interface. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's somewhere. I remember that being there somewhere. Oh, that was really fun though. I did enjoy that. Okay, so we found out that we can indeed spawn some baby. Um, the chickens are actually Goombas. That's kind of fun. All right, what else can we spawn? Okay, we can do uh, cow, chicken, squid. Okay, we can do squid. Squid, wolf. Oh, we saw wolf. Mushroom, ocelot we've seen. And then I think there's a little bit more. Villager, polar bear, rabbit, mule, donkey. Huh. All right, donkey, right? Is that going to be Donkey Kong? No, it's a mule. Okay. Press B if you already know about horses, donkey, and mules. Rabbit is going to be... It's just a baby, non-denominational rabbit running around. Okay. Polar bear is a non-denominational polar bear. Villager 
Oh, uh, I remember these guys. Yes, they are indeed villagers. Okay, ocelot we've seen. Mushroom, we saw this weird looking cow that's a mushroom for some reason. Uh, wolves, we've seen poochies. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. And I think we're just about done. I think there's only one more that I haven't done, which is this. Uh, spawn a horse. So what horse is this gonna be, ladies and gentlemen? It's just a generic horse. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty cool. What other things can we do in Minecraft? Uh, what is a superstar? Excuse me. A nether star. I don't know what you do. I think you fuse those and you get flood, like a water bucket. That's kind of cool. You can put on a, the Eye of Ender. You can do something with that. Uh, you can do some fireworks. You can music. I don't even know what music does in the game. I don't know what fireworks do either. Let's. Can you just launch it? Oh, man. That's pretty cool. That's super cool. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, let's just fly back up. That's really awesome. That you can just launch fireworks. Pew, pew. And I'm pretty sure there's so many different kinds of fireworks. Nether star. Does it do anything? It does not. But you probably, like, use it in uh, fusion recipes. All that stuff. All right. So let's do another... Well, I'm, I'm Mario, so I might as well hold on to a superstar, right? Let's do another triple jump and fly the heck out of here, right? There we go. Boom. Mario with the, with the shine sprite. Sorry. <laughs> Shine Sprite. Let's go looking around, right? Because that's the best part about the Minecraft uh, Nintendo Switch Edition is just flying around with uh, with your Elytra or just anything in creative mode and just hang out. All right, so we got a gigantic red block. And look, Princess Peach! Yeah! You can mine into Princess Peach's brain if you want. But we made it all the way to Princess Peach's crown. So if we want to go down, we could. You guys want to just dig down? Glowstone. We're just digging into our brain. And I don't know where to stop. <laughs> what are we doing? We're, what are we doing? Okay, this is the digestive track. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get out of here, man. We're getting out of here. Okay, whew. Oh, that was close. Where was I? <laughs> Alright, come on down. Come on down! Mario, don't look at me like that! Let's go! Where, where did I come out of? Okay, we're not talking about where I came out of. Let's go! <laughs> hey, you guys fans of Super Mario 64? Why not? Let's just fly over here to the uh, Princess Peach's castle. Now, the Princess Peach's castle is really, really decked out. This is Super Mario 64, right? All we need is some Super Mario 64 music, right? <laughs> All right, okay, come on. Provide the tunes, right? Isn't there an, uh, like a, a menu where you can choose the music settings? Audio. Cave sounds, minecart sounds, lame. You can't choose like whatever you want to listen to? All right, well, let's pretend that in Super Mario 64, it started off by raining. So we'd start over here in our adventure of Super Mario 64. Yeah, woohoo, wappa, right? That's what he does. <laughs> and then remember on Super Mario 64, Yoshi was on the roof. But if you played, you, if you were good enough, you can actually access the top of the roof without getting 120 stars to activate the cannon. If you went this way, and you did some fancy jumping off of these walls over here, you can actually reach the top. Just like this, watch. Oh yeah, yahoo! Just like that, perfect, perfect. And then Yoshi would be standing exactly right over here. Oh, it's so beautiful. Where's Yoshi? We don't have Yoshi. All right. So, yeah, I remember this a lot. I used to play Mario 64 all day when I was a kid, man. It was one of the best games. All right, so let's go jumping over here, head first into the fence. Let's go explore. All right, so we're gonna explore, pop this open, and boom! This is so well recreated from Mario 64, although there should be some sort of sunlight right over this way, but that's still awesome. It's still awesome, and look, there's gonna be a painting in here. I bet. Boom! It's the Bob-omb Battlefield paint. How did you manage this on little tiles? 
Can you do 8-bit art with a painting? Wow, that's crazy cool, man. That's Bob on Battlefield. All right, now right over here. Oh, man. Dude, I just want to... You can spend all day exploring. You really can. It's so much fun. All right, so here we go. We're going to go right into this area. Remember Bowser's over here? And then these doors open up. Boop, boop. All right? Oh, sound effects for the wind. Wait a second. Oh, what? A secret. Whoa, a secret treasure chest. It's a double treasure chest. And what was inside it? A music? You have found one of 12 music discs. You mean to tell me, hold on, hold on, hold on. You mean to tell me that there's a built-in scavenger hunt within the Minecraft Super Mario mashup? Dude, are you crazy? What does this do? Music disc. Okay, well, that, that's cool. Firework. Oh my gosh. Launching fireworks indoors. Not a good idea, ladies and gentlemen. All right, what's this? Open up. And we are... Whoa, hold on. Wait, what happened? Did I just break that? Oh, I think I did. What about this? Uh... Anything else hidden behind here? Man. Can you imagine? All right. My challenge to you guys is find all 12 of the music notes hidden within the world. I'll give you guys the first clue. It's right over here. It's where Bowser's at. Okay, now this is the creepy music. Ugh. What? This is the creepy music from Super Mario 64. Okay, first person to to tell me what level this music is from gets a shout out. Where's Jolly Roger Bay, dude? What do you mean you couldn't build that? Where's Jolly Roger Bay, man? I'm upset about that. And then, like, there's nothing over here. Like, it's not really full fleshed out. It's just kind of there. I mean, you guys did a great job with the interior, but... Hey, you know what? That's what you guys can do. That's what you guys can do. When you guys play this, I implore you guys. I implore you guys to actually build on top of this. I want to see a full-fledged... Big Boo's Haunt. Sam the Soul says... Yes. You're right. What do you go in here? Oh my gosh, you weren't kidding. I was reading your comments. You said, hey, go inside the painting. Boom. What do you know? Run. Come on, Mario. You got this. Where is this going to take me? Oh, is this a little spring? Okay, well... Now it leaves us in a pipe right outside the castle and right outside of Princess Peach. That's cool. And what better way? Uh, what better way to uh, segue into the next one is by doing a triple jump right here. Triple jumping into a fly. All right, come on, let's go. Are we going to do this, Mario? You're going to triple jump? One, two, one, two, three, go. Yeah, I can't really do it all that well. How about now? Fly, dude. Make it look like you're flying. Thank you. There we go. Flying underwater. That's what I'm talking about. See, now we're going to the lovely um, Isle Delfino. Delfino Isle. With the shine sprite. With the shine sprite. Any guys fans of Super Mario Sunshine on GameCube? Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. This whole place is exactly modeled after that. Here's a little lighthouse right on the beach. Dude, I have to really play that game again. I honestly don't remember it too well. The only time I've honestly played it was... Uh, oh no, my star. That's okay. The only time I played it was when the game first came out, believe it or not. I've never played it since. So I really should. But yeah, you can uh, you can totally see that this is amazing. What are these doors? Are those doors to like different places? Oh, nice. And what's this? Oh, it's a block. I'm just going to break that. Just throwing it out there. Super Mario Sunshine was indeed the best, so I love that. I love it. Sunshine was really fun. You know, I didn't like the fact that Mario was really, really flood dependent. Like, he couldn't even kick or punch. I was kind of upset about that, but I can see where they were coming from. So I remember we had a hide and seek uh, spot over here. Where we were playing hide and seek, and a lot of you guys would just like dig down in the ground and like hide. And then like, <laughs> put a block right above you to hide under there. It was so funny. Anyway, Shine Sprite. Now this is the music, right? This is the uh, the slide, right? The slide music in 64. 
All right, here we go. So this is the volcano. You can indeed go inside the volcano. Uh, there's a lot of lava over there. You can also go inside Petey Piranha's mouth. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Flying right over here. Boom, dropping my nether star again. Doesn't matter. We're okay. What other items can I hold? We can fire fireworks over here right on... Uh, Right on Petey Piranha is like <laughs> upper the roof of his mouth. <laughs> That's the only way that you can beat Petey Piranha is if you do that. So let's do, what other cool things can we get? We've got some vegetables that we can eat. Uh, you've you got like unlimited diamond swords. Yeah. Or you can hold on. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can go leather cap, leather tunic, leather pants, leather boots, and you can be a new character, right? Let's look. So leather cap. Oh, yeah, we got a little mouse cursor, too. Leather tunic. So we can go totally Tanuki Mario here. Just by wearing this armor. Yes! Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Just saying Tanuki or, like, Kitsune or maybe Cat Mario. <laughs> I don't know what you call this, but we got some pretty cool stuff right here. That's looking pretty sweet. What else can we put on? You can go frog suit. You can go bee suit. From Super Mario Galaxy, the bee suit, really... Wow, or you can indeed just go like penguin suit, diamond helmet, chest plate, diamond boots. We can totally be Penguin Mario. Right there. You can actually use this, uh, the, uh, what is that, the control stick? Hold on, I want to be a Penguin Mario. Yeah, I think we're there. Boom. Diamond boots, baby. We are now officially Penguin Mario. We've got it. We got it, baby. That's awesome. That's really cool. I do indeed like that a lot. Okay, so any other any other things that you guys want me to go show you in the game? We have a good 20 minutes left of the stream. So any suggestions, I'll take them in the comments right now. Uh, whatever you guys want. Whatever you guys want, we'll go do. I could go show off the uh, the ancient Greek world, or um, let me get that Elytra back on. It looks so much cooler. Where is it? Oh, is it in my inventory? Yeah, let's do that. All right, and I don't need this nonsense. Just get this stuff off. Get off me, penguin helmet, boots, leggings. All right, let's go. Fly. There we go. All right, so where are we going? What do you guys want to do? Oh, you want to go to the uh, the Nether Realm and see if we can go fight an Ender Dragon? I heard that's a thing. That's cool amongst you cool kids who play Minecraft, right? If I can only remember where it's at. So here's the ice biome. I really just want to fly super fast. But here's the volcano. I think we're at the corner over here. Uh, summoning the Wither. I don't know anything about that stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go, let's go. We got 15 minutes. We might as well explore the Nether Realm, or whatever you guys want to call it. Here's Toad! Yeah, Toad in the snow! Okay, so now we can tell that it is snowing. And here's a giant boo! Whoa! Okay, so I'm kind of... Oh, Boo's Haunted Mansion. Hold on. Yes, let's go to Boo's Haunted Mansion. It is raining out. Open up. Boo's Haunted Spooky Land. All right, let's see. Hello. Anything coming out of here? I remember we lit this place on fire, didn't we? During one of our older live streams. Like, we were just having a party. A lever. Okay, what did the lever do? I don't know, but it's something to explore, right? Alright, I'm out of here. Breaking my way out the window. What do you mean I can't break the window? Oh, gosh. I'm on creative mode and I can't break the window. Well, that's fine. I'll just break through the house. What do you mean I can't break through the house? Oh, gosh. Help! I'm in spider webs! No! Help! Okay, good. Never mind. I just couldn't break it with the diamond axe. I'm in creative mode, man. Don't tell me what I can and cannot break. I'm out of here. <laughs> Alright. Let's fly. Let's go find that nether realm, right? Let's go to the nether. 
The nether is by the water, if I remember correctly. And I honestly don't remember what other landmarks are nearby, but we're gonna go fly around and see some. So this is the, uh, this is Super Mario 3. If you guys take a look at the bird's eye view of it, you can see like the little level, uh, level designs. There's a gigantic Luigi. Here's the airship. I think we're close. I think we're close. It's in the water. I rem oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, right in the Bowser's lair. Okay, so we're here, right? This is it? Yeah, look at these zombies. Or sorry, what are these things? I don't know. We're going in. Okay, you guys wanted to see it. Here we go, we're in the nether. Uh, this is actually pretty fun. If you're playing on Minecraft survival mode, uh, good luck surviving in here because this is insane. This is a coarse dirt. Bowser's music actually plays. That's kind of cool. And there's thwomps and everything. They they did a really good job. There's Bowser's castle. Dude, I remember this. And look, booze and a buzzy beetle in the ceiling. Here's Bowser's castle based off of the new Super Mario Bros. series. The design elements there. All right, and we're just flying around over here. We don't want to get caught on fire. Where do I find an Ender Dragon? Oh, this is crazy. We're just like flying on in at like the speed of sound. We're flying around at the speed of sound. That's right. Isn't that your favorite song from your favorite Sonic game? All right, we're going to go into Bowser's Castle. Whoa, hold on, hold on. What? Bowser himself? Wow, nice. I totally forgot that he's here. So we can fly around Bowser here. Looking awesome. We can go inside. And I'm, I'm sure there's a throne under here, right? No, no, I think I just made a throne that one time we were all playing in this. So gigantic Bowser. Okay, and then here's Bowser's castle. Let's go inside. Let's explore it a bit. All right, let's do this. Okay, okay. Here we go, Bowser. So long, gay Bowser. All right. Uh, yeah. So there's thwomps all over the place here. Get out of here. Go in the lava. Iron door. They can only be opened by redstone buttons or switches. Uh-oh. Uh, that means that we have to find a switch to open the door. Or not. I can just go in. Oh, is this the infinite stairway? <laughs> and then, of course, it leads straight to Bowser. Dun, dun, dun. Very cool, very cool. There's got to be some other things in here, right? Yeah, flying with the Elytra like it's the way it's intended. All right, I do remember that we did... Man, we were exploring this whole thing on, like... We did a little series of Minecraft Mondays. It was fun. Oh, <laughs> cool. Yeah, little towers and whatnot. Okay. Oh, is this the switch? Ah, help! I'm on fire! Oh, and then you're just done. And then you die. Okay, this is the switch. Oh, my gosh. Get me out of here, please. Please, I don't want to go swimming in the fire. Please, let me get out. Oh, fine, 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 fine. Switch! There we go. And that probably opened the door. Yeah, and there's another switch. Oh, my gosh, you have to be really good at Minecraft platforming. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, help. Ah, I would have been dead like a hundred times over. Oh my gosh, you got a double. <laughs> Dude, I used to be good at this game, remember? Remember Minecraft Pixelmon? Oh, those are the days. We used to be, man, I got really good at Minecraft. Or at least Pokemon version of it. I used to be awesome. Oh, look at that. I didn't realize that there's a piece there. Open up, another switch. Okay. Hit that switch. We're gonna fly on up. Boom! Break our way through, and I think we're good here. All right, let's fly around some more. We got a little bit more time. We got 15 minutes. So what else is there to explore? There's a couple different pipes. Let's go down one. Okay, the pipe doesn't lead to anything besides lava. Good to know. Where's the dragon? I could have sworn we all beat up a nether dragon, an elder dragon. What, what is it? Nether dragon? 
I don't care what the heck kind of dragon is. Hey, you know, doll, it's not a, it's not an ender dragon. Where? Oh man, I'm just gonna like only. <laughs> I was gonna say real men dig with their bare hands. Yeah, look at this. Where is this taking us? What? Is, oh, it's just a boo. The noises! Oh, and we destroyed this thing. And we got some charcoal, right? That's a charcoal? Gunpowder! Very close, very close. The dragon is in the end, okay? Any more specific? Is he like super down below? Wait a second! A secret tunnel! I'm just flying all the way up! Get me out of here! The Ender Dragon is in the end. The end. Can I leave now? Okay, so, yeah, this place is pretty- Oh, Bullet Bills too, you guys see that? Bullet Bills over there? Yeah, this place is pretty cool. And a gigantic Bullet Bill? Wow. They just pulled all the stops here. But yeah, definitely come explore this. If you guys are uh, going to be getting this game on Nintendo Switch, explore it. Because you can spend so much time just hanging out. And just totally appreciating all the hard work that all the developers did in order to make this possible for you guys. Alright, so we saw Bowser's Castle. Pretty cool, based off of the uh, new Super Mario Bros. design. We did see Bowser. We saw a gigantic bullet bill. Oh man, there's some other- Oh, a gigantic thwomp right through him! Right through him! <laughs> oh yes! Oh, it's so good, right through the buzzy, buzzy beetle. Right here, right through him. <laughs> oh, very close. A little sloppy, but we made it. Alright, now we need to go. I wanna go do some- It's a tank! Holy cow, it's a tank! That's a tank from uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, cool. Alright, where do we start from? We started from here, right? Okay, yes, right in the lava. Good job, Mario. We started exactly from here. If you want to go back, all you have to do is jump back into here, and we're going to leave the nether. That was fun. That was fun. Did you guys enjoy that? I hope you guys did enjoy that, but because now it is currently daytime, and we spent a good 20 minutes inside the nether. All right, so let's take a look around at some other stuff that we can explore at, right? Oh my gosh, you go so fast. Here we go, right, we're gonna, we're gonna break through that fleet! Here we go! Alright, I'm on like a little Star Fox 64 binge today. Here we go, you ready? Fox, get this guy off me! Oh, dang! <laughs> Alright, here we go, I know I can fly through something. Let me fly through something else. Another enemy that we're gonna fly through. It's just awesome, it's the Mario Wing Cap Fly Through Challenge. And you have to go at like a top speed with your Elytra. Boom! Aw, oh, dang it. Dude, how did I do that? How did I do that? The first time, my first time, I went straight through without even, without a hitch. Alright, ready, Elytra? Here we go, right through the boo, dude. You got this, Mario. You got this. So head on. Apply directly to forehead. Oh, very close. <laughs> That's actually really fun. To just go and get like a clean breakthrough. <sighs> okay, here we go. Whoa, King bob -omb himself. King bob -omb. King b -omb. Right through you! Go! Oh, man. Uh, too bad I can't pick him up and throw him. Alright, who are we gonna go through? Give me another 2D thing that I can go in. Alright, we're gonna go through Lakitu's Cloud. Here we go, here we go, we got this, we got this. We're taking the Mario Wing Cap Challenge with the Elytra! Boom! Ah, oh, no way, no way. A little sloppy, that's okay. But yeah, you can take a look around the game and it's just, you can find... Dude, we found one of the 12 hidden musical notes in the game. That's so cool. Whoa, here's a flagpole. Wait, 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 hold on. You mean to tell me they have made the flagpole from Mario Bros. 1? 
Dude, this is like first person Mario Bros. Look, tell me this isn't like Super Mario Bros. 1 on the NES, first person, right? And then you just come over here, huh? Uh, 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 gotta make the flagpole, huh? Look around, the, whoop, whoop. can we make it? Do the double tap jump, oh, oh. hey, we did pretty good, that's not bad. Right? That's cool. See, and that's why I like Minecraft a lot. When I had my my brief stint in um, Minecraft Pixelmon, the game really immerses you. You get really immersed in the game, especially if you do first person mode the entire time. You you think like you're in the game and you just build whatever you want. You'd spend hours just building, exploring anything. It's really cool. It's really cool. Just like this level. Here we go, Lakitu. You're mine right now. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's harder to do in first person. But yeah, if you guys want to see what the end is all about, uh, you guys may have to try it yourself, right? Try yourself. And look, this is the ship. Oh my gosh, this is the ship. So, if we look, let's go like bird's eye view. This is indeed Super Mario World. Okay. Um, let me see. I'm going really fast. Yeah, it's Super Mario World. I'm trying to get like a good spot to, to show where exactly Super Mario World starts. Gigantic green pipe. We are going at the max speed that we can right now by holding uh, the Elytra in a downward. Here we go. Give me this. I deserve this. <laughs> nope. I deserve this. Gigantic Mario. Dude, I'm telling you. I remember when I went in one particular area, it was a bird's eye view of the level map of Super Mario World. It was crazy. I remember noticing that when I was um, playing this on Wii U version. So I want to see if this uh, is the same thing. You see the sun. Everyone hates this sun, right? Oh man, almost went through him. <laughs> Everyone hates the sun in Super Mario 3, man. That thing was hard. But yeah, this is so good. You guys can probably already tell, like, if you played the Mario games, you guys know where these little layouts are based off of. Alright, Lakitu, you're mine. I'm gonna go straight on. Apply directly to forehead, baby, just like this. Oh, yeah. oh come on. Dang it. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. I want to see. I want to see some more fun stuff. Oh, cool. Dude, look. It's a hammer, bro. Right through your lip. Oh, you're lucky. And a gigantic wooden block. We saw a 3D Goomba. Dude, there's just so much to explore. A gigantic question mark block. All right, all of you guys, right now, in the comments, what's inside this gigantic question mark block? I don't know. I'm gonna throw away this leather tunic. Oh, you can just wear it straight up from your menu? Oh, that's pretty cool. Just equip it. All right, that's uh, interesting. What's inside the question mark block, ladies and gentlemen? What is it? Let me know. And we're gonna find out, we're gonna open it up. We're gonna open this thing up. Get these like cat things off of me, hold on. <laughs> Get this off. Dude, it's not like you can click and drag it off. Wait, maybe you can. Oh, you can, wow, you can click and drag your stuff just like, uh, <laughs> just like on the computer version. Oh, that's so cool. Here, free diamond boots, anyone who wants it, leather boots. Uh, we also have uh, this thing too. All right, what's gonna be inside it? A lot of you guys say nothing. Ye of little faith. Ye of little faith. All right. Let's do it. Let's hit that like button, guys. Uh, we're almost at the end of the stream. We got another five minutes or so. We're gonna find out what's in here. Smash that like button. Let's get to uh, 600 likes, yeah? Where are we at? I don't even know. We're at like 400, 500. All right, let's go. We're gonna go in. I, a lot of you guys say nothing. And believe it or not, there may or may not be nothing in here. Whoa, whoa, it's multi-layered. Whoa, okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm digging this. I can move in here, I can live here. Whoa, oh, aha, you guys were absolutely correct. There was nothing in there, dang it. I had such high hopes for that, but that's okay. What do you expect is gonna be in there? Since we're on a block destroying binge, ooh. Give me flying in the sky! All right, since we're on block destroying binge, let's go destroy this block and see what's inside it.
Are you guys ready? Here we go. We only have a couple more minutes left of the stream. What's in here? Okay, jump in. Fall in, Mario. Oh, there we go. Boom! Nothing but a hollowed interior. Wow. I'm break my way through. Real men fight with no Minecraft shovels. And they dig without them, too. All right, we're going to go into this one straight up. What's inside this one? Let me know. It's a block of gold. A compact way of storing gold. Let me in. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so you got a little bit of a light. Sea lantern. Underwater light sources that can be found in ocean temples. Can be crafted from uh, prismarine, shards, and the like. Okay, so this is the other block inside here. Dude, I'm telling you, hide and seek. If we played Mario mashup hide and seek, I would totally hide in this block. But with like, if we do play hide and seek, no one can hide underground because that's, wow, what? I didn't know you can go this fast, that's cool. Oh, so holding up, up on the control stick and then double tapping somehow gave me like super speed that I cannot replicate, but that's okay. All right, pretty cool. All right, so yeah, I'm excited for this. This game's coming out soon. I want you guys on board, get this game and play along with. I wanna see your creations though. That's really what I'm curious about. Like. What are you guys going to create? Are you guys going to expand on Peach's castle and just like fully flesh it out with paintings, this and that? I want to see that. Someone link me your creation so I can see that. All right, son. Right here, baby. Give me one more. Yeah. Oh, dang it. I'm never going to do it. I did it once and we're done with that. So here's another castle. Okay, did we go in here? Oh, interesting. Very cool. Oh, 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 what's this? I can climb. A ladder, used to climb vertically. Yes, it is. I think that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're good. <laughs> Look at this little flying block. Wow, it's just hanging out there. Oh, creepy clown music now. Dang it. Birch fence door. There's a pokey. There's the sun coming up. The sun is setting, maybe? Yeah, I think it's setting, sun setting. And look at this little uh, toad house. Dude, I'm just, honestly, I can spend ages. There is the sun, that's the moon, okay. Okay, so that's the moon by Mario. The sun is a shine, uh, Super Mario Sunshine logo, which looks pretty cool. Is that what the sun looked like in Sunshine? I don't remember. It <laughs> better not have. Oh, good times, good times. Yeah, dude, creations. Let's see what you guys create. That's my challenge to you guys. And of course, if you can perfect the Elytra Mario Glide straight into a 2D object while punching. Oh, dang it. <laughs> then you guys are awesome. Yeah, dude, I love this. This is cool. I can't wait until more people are into the game that you can start uh, having friends. You can do some battle mode do some like survival stuff. But yeah, there's so much. And look at this, this is the castle at the end. Oh, that's so fun. With lava and it just lights up. Iron bars, why iron bars? That's kind of cool. And what is this? Oh, so good. There's just so much detail in the game. Wow. Okay, so uh, what did you guys think? What do we think of Super Mario uh, Minecraft edition. Let me know in the comments right now, and I'll read some. Uh, I'll read some comments. Um, I enjoyed it. I thought it's pretty cool. It's uh, it plays the exact same thing as the Super Mario mashup pack for Nintendo Wii U, which we had a long time ago. Um, I I like the idea of having the ability to just grab your Nintendo Switch off the dock and whatever you're working on, or if you want to play with some buddies in like a server or whatever, you can indeed go ahead and do that. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, a lot of you guys say it's honestly looking pretty cool, Titus Wang. Um, yeah, I agree with you. It is indeed very cool. Uh, Prince Leo of Norris says it's awesome. Uh, do the Greek world. We're not going to do the Greek world, but you guys can do the Greek world on your playthrough if you guys want. I definitely want to show off the Mario version of it. Uh, yeah, but it was definitely amazing. Thanks for uh, saying that, uh, Felipe Rio, 55. A lot of you guys like it. It feels the same thing as the Wii U version Zariva says. Yeah, it does. It does. 
Um, now that I actually know a thing or two about Minecraft from playing Pixelmon so much, um, I think it's a lot easier to go and pretty much play with. So, I had a fun time with the stream. If you guys did too, definitely uh, smash that like button and share the video with a friend. If you guys would like to see a Minecraft series on my channel, let me know. Show the support in this video and I might do something like that in the future. I mean, we did do Minecraft Mondays for a little bit, but uh, it didn't get enough support. So now that it's on the Switch, we could bring it back. It's up to you guys. So that's going to be it for me today. Uh, shout outs again to Nintendo of America for providing the copy of the game. Uh, I enjoyed it. And I think that I'm going to be taking this on the go and messing around in the whole Mushroom Kingdom that everyone worked so hard for. So I'm pumped up. But yeah, that's going to be it for the stream. Thank you so much for watching. There's a link in the description below that you guys can click on in order to get this game or at least pre-order it for uh, for Nintendo Switch from Amazon. So do that. Click on that. Play the game. Show me your creations. You can tweet them at me and uh, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.